guys, Andrew here with Dadverb. Thank you so much for helping us get to 100,000 subscribers. If you do find this video helpful, hit that like button down there. Now, I've highlighted the even flow pivot expand a few times in the past on this channel, often calling it one of the better low to mid tier stroller options as it offers all the function and versatility from high-end full-size brands at a price point of only $399 for the entire travel system. So what we'll do is get a full picture of the stroller and see how it stacks up against similarly priced options like Mockingbird and the Maxi Cozy Zellia, since a lot of parents tend to narrow it down to those two options uh, pretty often, even more so than guys like you know Baby Jogger or the Upper Cruise. Let's go ahead and dive into it. From the top, the handlebar has a great feel. Uh, I know that leather is a trend that most parents are going for, but you know I don't, I don't mind this personally. I like the feel of the soft foam. Uh, it's got great grip and I feel like I've got good control of the stroller, but I can see it getting some wear and tear marks pretty easily over long periods of time. The height adjustment is similar to Mockingbird, where it hinges rather than slides up and down like up a baby options. Moving down along the frame are the triggers for the fold. Now, before it folds down, I've learned that you should adjust the handle so that it goes all the way up so that it can self-stand when folded. Uh, the fold is pretty smooth though. It's not the most compact, but uh, you know, it's serviceable. It can still squeeze into the trunk of any compact car just fine. The crossbar of the seat does need to be removed though. Now, personally, I don't like that you have to make any sort of like adjustment uh, before it goes into the trunk. So I wish that you could just go straight into the trunk with it. Because you have to take that, that crossbar off, it is a bit of an inconvenience. Uh, in my opinion, unless it is being loaded into like a larger SUV or a van, that's not really an issue. This isn't isolated to even flow, by the way. I mean, Mockingbird does have you do the same thing uh, with removing the bar. For the open, you pull the latch out rather than pushing in like up a baby strollers. Now, this is a subtle thing, but that motion alone makes for an easier open. With the Vista, I always feel like I have to lay the stroller down and then press the lever to get it open. With the Expand, it's a tiny bit easier to get it set up just because of that subtle way that the, that the lever unlocks. The thing with many other brands though, is that at least one of those functions, whether it's the handlebar adjustment or the fold, a lot of them can be done with one hand. With the Expand, you have to use both hands for both functions, so not as convenient there. Gotta ding it a little bit. But on the plus side, peep that free cup holder that you can attach on the right side. If you leave it on all the time, just note that you may experience some bending on it. Uh, when stored in a trunk, it'll, it'll probably get dinged around a bit. Now moving down the seat and the canopy, check all the boxes, but nothing is really gonna like wow you here. The material uh, does feel like it's lacking a, a little bit of that gusto that I want. From a comfort standpoint, you know, I think your child is gonna sit in it just fine, but you can tell that the cushioning is just a little bit thinner compared to some of those premium options and lacks uh, a little bit more rigidity. It's got a basic three-point harness that's easy to adjust, so you know, no issues there. Uh, and it's got that padded crossbar, which unfortunately does have to either be completely on or off altogether. You can't just like leave it hanging half off, uh, making that a little bit more of an inconvenience, whereas Mockingbird lets you do that. The footrest at the bottom can be adjusted similarly to the handle, but for me, the buttons do stick a little bit. Uh, once I get the buttons pressed down, it often feels like, you know, I want like a third hand <laughs> to, to move the footrest. Sometimes I'll just use my head. Um, I feel like that could be a little bit smoother, especially in comparison to other brands. Now the canopy is all right. Uh, it offers a peep window at the top, uh, but no magnets to keep it down. So it can tend to flail a little bit in the wind. So ding there, uh, not major though. I'd say the main downside is just a lack of an extended sunshade, which I'm sure some parents might be a little bit bummed about. So if you're walking west on a late evening stroll, uh, there's a good chance that that sun is gonna be dipping down, coming into your child's face a little bit and might be a bit bothersome. So up to this point, the stroller seems like a pretty simple, budget-friendly option. That's you know not outstanding, but still a very serviceable pick that many families uh, are gonna get great use out of. But where it shines is its ability to expand to a double without the use of adapters. Versatility, that is what parents are gonna love here. To get it into a double, you start by popping off the seat and sliding the adapters up the frame. Next, at the bottom, toward the front of the basket, is a button to release the lower adapters. They pop out easy, and with the seconds, you can expand to a double, hence its name, without having to track down the snap-on adapters which I love. Just a heads up though, lining up the car seat and toddler seat to snap into the stroller was way more difficult than other strollers that I've used. It definitely took a little bit more time for me to get used to that. Uh, I feel like that could be improved if they ever did like a V2 of the stroller. 
You can make multiple configurations, both forward and rear facing. And with Evenflow's rider board, it can carry up to three kids, which is great. Haven't used that, but might be a worthy pickup. I did mention it comes with a safe max car seat, but if you want, it can adapt to others, including the Kiko KeyFit, Graco Snug Ride, Click Connect, and, uh, and more. So go ahead and check out the description for more on compatibility with infant car seats. The last thing I'll hit on here is yet another way Evenflow added even more versatility with innovative design. That's how the toddler seat can actually become a bassinet. So that's yet another add-on that you need not worry about. I will say though that my experience using it as a bassinet is lacking a bit, so I can't say too much more on that. But if there are any existing users out there that have thoughts on that, please share that below. Moving down, the storage capacity of the basket is great. The back is a little bit more shallow, but can easily accommodate large diaper bags and more. Uh, it is specced at a max payload of 10 pounds, but it took a 25 pound dumbbell pretty well. At the back is your single pedal brake. Nothing too crazy there, it works great. But let's move on to the push. Now, unlike Mockingbird's rubber wheels, uh, the Expands are foam filled plastic cruiser tires. Now these wheels, they're gonna wear on you a little bit and won't be able to accommodate as much terrain. So cobblestone, gravel, and uh, dirt paths, they're not gonna be ideal environments for this. There is no locking mechanism to keep the, the front wheel straight, so it'll always have that swivel. Some don't really care about that, uh, but just something to note. Overall, I'd say that the push is smoother than, you know, say the Maxi Cozy Zelia, but definitely not as smooth as your Nunas of the world. Also, the stroller is on the heavier side at about 28 pounds. So when fully loaded as a double, you'll definitely feel more resistance on turns compared to strollers with wheels boasting a larger circumference at the back. So that's a look at the stroller. I've got it linked below. Buying through that link, by the way, helps support this channel. It's at no additional cost to you. But the question is, should you actually click through that link and buy the stroller? Let's go ahead and unpack that a little bit. If you're the kind of person that's like, you know, this is what I can afford. I don't really care. I just need a stroller, right? To push baby from point A to point B. The Expand is gonna be a solid pickup for you. You know, I'd say for its price point, it'll be the best that you can get. It's not without its issues though. While a ton of parents have had great experiences with it, I've also heard from a good many that have basically said that you kind of get what you pay for and it'll cost you more in trying to get it fixed or parts replaced. Um, and they regret not just making the jump to a premium option right from the start. So from a quality standpoint, the higher cost of you know a baby jogger or up a cruise or you know Nuna Mix and other options like that, they're gonna deliver on better comfort, materials, durability, and then sometimes design. But what about the one that I'm asked about the most? One of my personal favorites, Mockingbird. If you're asking me which is a better purchase, I would say that the Expand is probably gonna give you a lot more value. You're getting so much for such a good price. That said, Mockingbird is definitely a better stroller to me. It's a lot more durable and pushes and feels like a premium stroller while still being under that $500 mark. You're still spending a little bit more because you can't buy it as an entire you know travel system, but I think it is worth it while still not pushing up past that $700 mark. That's all I've got for you guys. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for new parents, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And thank you for helping us hit 100,000 subscribers. God bless. We'll catch you later.